from the Indigo Light uh, blog. I want to welcome you guys. Uh, thank you for being here, for watching this today. I want to uh, take the time to introduce myself on a more uh, personal basis and to show you the face behind the blog, to make this kind of more interactive than uh, the post. Um, so, I want to get to the, uh, the topic of, of today, specifically, straight away. Um, I mentioned in previous posts of mine um, regarding happiness and the right path to take in this day and age. A lot of us are currently succumbing to the pressures of modern life still. We're still trying to navigate through the, whatever we're going to call the third dimensional construct and to find the meaning uh, within our lives, our professional lives, mostly our personal lives is, is more something that is, uh, uh, I'm going to say serendipitous on a comical note. Um, it's something that is, is, is more uh, esoteric or abstract to attract the right person to your life if you're willing to do the changes from within yourself. Uh, in regards to your path slash purpose, what we're going to call a career, it's, it's a very crazy word, but we're still going to use it. Um, this new day and age brings with it a completely fresh, a completely brand new page. With it, you have to be very, very open-minded to uh, all the changes that can take place in your life. You have to understand certain specific uh, things that characterize the, the new you. Okay? Uh, the first thing is very simple. At the current time, whatever place you're in within your life is the most progressive and the most you you've ever been, regardless of whatever you've done in the past. Because the age of the third dimension has passed, you are now integrating and, and, and grounding yourself in the fifth dimension. And uh, you are taking form. Okay, So even though you may be in, in certain uh, portions of your life, kind of uh, in between two different chapters, uh, not very comfortable with changes that are taking place, I have to uh, reassert that at the current time, you are exactly where you are supposed to be for yourself and in terms of being true to yourself, even if you may be in a comfortable transition period. You have to understand the second thing is that uh, you took a uh, personal oath in this lifetime, specifically, uh, since it, for many people it's going to be your last lifetime or your going to last longer than the other lifetimes. That's, that's another topic for another day. Um, but this is the, the, the last round, the one that really shines after all the lifetimes we've had, before we all collect the rays of planet, we ascend it to 5D. It's going to be the time to shine. So you may have taken a certain path in your life. Um, a lot of us take the career path in order to fulfill the requirements of society, pressures from our family, what we think we need to give the world, and of course the financial requirements that um, modern life exerts on us, uh, which is not, you know, most of us do this or have done this, it's not necessarily the right way to go, and it's sadly become the status quo for many, many, many people. You have to be open to the fact that your life and your purpose may take a drastic change in a completely different direction. That direction will be highlighted by the most important and quintessential word of 5D, which is happiness. So you have to sit with yourself and be very honest and truthful with yourself in terms of what have I been doing all these years? Have I been doing it out of fear, out of the necessity to fulfill my financial obligations? Or have I been doing all of this in order to be happy? Some people have found their path. But if you are watching this video, if you are on any other website of awareness, ascension, anything to do with consciousness and the acceptance that you are now um, living, grounding yourself in 5D, your path has to be much higher than simply fulfilling your financial requirements to the society that you live in. Okay, You have much more to give. I will say that you have infinitely more love, potential, light, understanding, compassion to give the world, other people, your family, society, in one way or another, than what you are doing right now. 
if you cannot answer the simple question, am I really happy doing my job? And is my job my purpose? You may be uh, working in an accounting office for 10 minutes. Okay, that's a generic example. You may have an extreme passion for cooking. Whenever there's an event, whenever there's the possibility to you know, highlight your skills, you do it out of love, out of the um, willingness to, to help other people, to give to other people, to share, to elevate their lives in a specific moment to a better place. That's pure love. There's few things purer than that. That may be much closer to your purpose than your accounting job. So if you still have that fear of doing the transition from the thing that you do to sustain yourself to the thing that you do because you love doing it, your 5D existence is love. Therefore, you have to really analyze everything in your life, including your relationship with your friends, your family, your surroundings, your house, your household, um, your body, of course, you know, the way you treat yourself. And look at where love exists within those spheres of your existence and where it is absent. And then you need to be very honest and forthcoming in order to address it. I will give you a personal example from my life uh, lately. The fact that I'm doing this website, the fact that um, I've been doing this on a part-time basis for a decade. I've been requested, I don't know how many times to do this full-time. To help people to do seminars um, and I've, I've kind of put it aside because I wanted to do what I'm going to call a, a childish career, a business career, okay, a technologically oriented career. I wanted to have success, build a company, so on and so, and so forth. It didn't happen the way I wished. Um, in the transitions of the last couple of months since we're in 2018, I found myself in certain times reflecting asking and kind of visualizing if all that had happened, would I have been happy or not? And I couldn't answer that question anymore. And then I found myself with my other half, my wife, uh, going out in nature, going on walks, being around animals, um, kind of uh, entertaining the way that the world is feeling and the, the things that are wrong with the world and my lack of contribution to helping all these parties. And I realized that these are the only things that are real, okay? This planet is absolutely amazing. We do very little to make sure that it stays that way. We do very little to help each other collectively and individually. And, you know, contributing to the economy, to the governments, whatever constructs in this time that are, you know, in power, um, they're not working. They have failed us for way too long. And we need to start making the changes from ourselves. <clears throat> So if we're happier within our lives, if we embrace love and happiness as the way of life, that's why I call this post, uh, what is the secret to life? What is the, the meaning of life? The question that's been uh, asked since the dawn of time, it's very simple to find happiness. Happiness may be love, balance, harmony, but to be happy, and to have everything kind of fluid within your life, all the things that are within your life, whether it be your personal life, your, your professional life, whatever you want to call it, your surroundings, the place that you live in, and so on and so forth. Um, I found myself drastically moving away from things I held dear for so many years, my desire to succeed. And then I found myself a few months later asking, what on earth is success anyways? Um, wanting to live, you know, to be able to create enough wealth, to be able to help people out and so on. But I realized that I wasn't doing enough on a one-to-one -one basis. This is all I ever needed to do. And I've kind of been avoiding it for many, many years in a fully committed way. Um, I wanted to live closer to where things are happening, to the city center. Uh, we are on an island in the Mediterranean with my spouse. We'll be relocating to literally the other side of the world. And we were going to land there. And immediately there was that initial stress and fear, what are we going to do financially? How are we going to succeed? How are we going to be able to find our foot in the ground and start building, you know, our life there? And then, you know, the changes of the beginning of 2018, the end of 2017, we are firmly anchoring ourselves in 5D. And I asked myself, my spouse asked herself, we asked each other, do we really need to, you know, 
we left this life of the Boston city, uh, the career, the rat race and all that. Do we really want to do that again? Or can we just go all out, uh, thinking out of the box, moving to a new place that is completely different from everything we've experienced so far? But can't we live in this new place on our terms? Can't we live with less but be happier? Can't we live closer to nature in, in a household that is more natural, smaller, more uh, rooted in the ground and what we really are and what we're meant to be? Because we both, I've been a city dweller and my wife has been uh, somebody that's raised more in the countryside, but regardless, I've always wanted to be that person. I've always wanted to be closer to nature because I had this natural appreciation for it since I remember myself. And when you're in an apartment building between four walls for the you know, greater part of your life, you don't do that anymore. So I'm thankful for that. Um, you begin to develop that need for what is real. So to reiterate, we are now in 5D beginning to live. Our life is truth. Truth means being true to ourselves to what we are, to what we hold dear, and to the love that is our life. We all talk about love and love and love, but we really need to look at our lives on a complete basis and see where love is and where it is missing. And we should be able to look at all the portions of our life and feel that they're all complete with each other on an even basis, and that they all make us happy. And if we are struggling Again, I revert to the financial status because it's a thing that bothers most households. And it, it, it's been irking me for years because I meet so many people and they have so much to give to the world. But they're stuck in the, you know, the, uh, the hamster's wheel of you know, fulfilling their financial obligations, their families and the schooling system and all these things. And it's become a prison. And I find that as, as a person hurtful. I've done it myself. I mean, but I've been sitting and struggling for years and years to break free from that because it's just not satisfactory. And I don't accept this, uh, that this is the way we're, we're meant to live. So it's really to go back to that essence, not be afraid at all to venture the new pastures, which is what we're going to do as a couple in a new foreign land. And you know what? The fear isn't there. It's more scary to go and to have to start this stressful existence all over again with not knowing and to take some calculated risk and go in a completely different direction and actually live instead of existing trying to live that's the difference and to find happiness in what you do if you wake up and you open your door and you're around nature you hear birds chirping you're breathing cleaner air your food is cleaner you do things more on a physical attitude so your body's happier um, and you live true to the principles that you hold dear and overall a healthier happier lifestyle and you're able to do this by for my on my you know my own personal uh, basis to help people to transmit messages to help clarify things that are you know happening in the world and to be able to help people on a one-to-one -one basis for me that's the ultimate happiness i just had been stubbornly looking in the wrong direction and that doesn't work anymore and funnily enough, it doesn't attract me at all anymore. On a comical note, around the same amount of time, uh, me and my spouse had gone, my spouse and I, sorry, had gone out to uh, for dinner. We were, we are currently on a vegetarian diet, uh, not by choice, by circumstances of life. Uh, we got severely sick eating meat, and since then. I've been put off meat on a psychological, spiritual basis, just totally naturally. There was absolutely no trying. It just happened by itself. And now we look at that part of our life and the consumption of animal flesh and so on as something that is completely alien to us in such a short period of time. It's not a thing that I, I thought it would be possible. Um, so this is a comical little story that's juxtaposed to experiencing and being willing to go on a totally new path because that is your true life, your true happiness, that is your truth, and that is love, um, sh you will make that transition eventually, and it will feel natural, and it will feel good, and you will be, uh, you might have your aha moments where you're sort of living that life, and then you have um, a 
flicker of the past and you realize that that person isn't you anymore and you can't believe it was that fluid because all the other transitions in your life have been so trying, uh, long, difficult, and so on. The reason why is because this is who you are. This is what you're meant to do. I think collectively as a planetary consciousness, as citizens of the Earth, is once you evolve, you won't look at people so much according to nationality, race, and all these things, gender, ethnicity, is completely of no consequence. We're citizens of the planet. Uh, we need to live much more in harmony with our surroundings and with each other. And that's healthier for us. You may go on a career and make a lot of money and be successful and, and so on and have that pressure and the drive to succeed. There's a lot of ego there. But you need to look within yourself on your calm moments and ask if you're happy and if this is a healthy alternative. Healthy physically and healthy spiritually and energetically. These are the questions that you really need to ask yourself. So this is the message that I wanted to transmit today. Um, to sum it up, uh, from personal experience, transitions have become very quick, very fluid, much easier than ever expected. And the things that are changing are much bigger. I probably, uh, on a personal basis within this household, on an on a emotional basis, have done a bigger transition within the last four months than the, the years prior. And with a lot more ease. Because there's a massive wave of light pushing us. And the minute you surrender to it and you stop the blockages of the ego and your, your core beliefs that I talked about in prior posts, it kind of sweeps you with it. And it brings you exactly where you're meant to be very quickly. It doesn't have to take time. This is the manifestation aspect. 5D is instant. Or, you know, you take a few days, a month or so, but things are moving very, very fast and fluidly. And this is the energy of love. It, it just it flows like a river. If you try to grab on the rocks, you know, you're going to be swept around back and forth and hurt yourself. You need to go with the flow to where you are meant to be, to be the person that you are, that you're unaware of at the moment. And that person is what your, your guidance is um, trying to determine and to show you. Again and again and again. You may, you may be stubborn, like I've been in the past, or you may be much more fluid or already be there. And if it's not on a professional basis, it must be part of me. It must be, it could be in your personal life, it could be in other spheres of your, of your life, of your existence. So, fluidity, love as a way of life, look where it's missing, acceptance, and to strive to, to balance and to really look at happiness as the ultimate goal but as opposed to our parents grandparents forefathers i'm going to call it the baby boomer generation you don't have to work hard for years and years and years save money retire to reach some kind of happiness goal balance that you've strived to your whole life if you try to be true to yourself to what you need and to be very flexible the world has a lot of places to offer you your guidance and the light and your, your new energy will take you there with, without, uh, without a struggle. Okay? That's what I wanted to, uh, to convey today. I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, I hope this interface is something that you like. If you don't, you, know, you can send me an email about it. I'm trying different ways of, of conveying messages and I wanted to introduce myself also. So you can see uh, Alexander uh, not put words on a page. So I want to thank you, um, really thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. And I also want to thank you for being open-minded to try new things and trying to help yourselves in constructive and different ways. So thank you very much, namaste, and uh, 